Okay, so my project is on the species Homo heidelbergensis. I'm my name is Kaden Baker. So the history behind it is that the species Homo heidelbergensis um, was most likely living in Europe, Asia, or southern or eastern Africa. Uh, they think this because this is where they found the fossils. Um, this man right here, Otto Schotensek, excuse the pronunciation, um, had discovered it and had discovered the fossils in 1908. And they were assumed to live around 700,000 to 200,000 years ago. Um... So, the taxonomy of it, or where the name came from, um, well, in the beginning, homo, homo stands for human. Uh, the term homo is put in front of a lot of different species throughout the years, um, or billions of years, I guess you could say, <laughs> um, just to show that it is a species of human, and then Heidelbergensis comes from Heidelberg, Germany, which is right there on the map. And you can see that that is where they had discovered it, and that is where Otto Schoensack discovered it. And the anatomy is obviously quite different from ours. And you can see here how they have a very large brow ridge and brain case because right here it's obviously very long and very wide compared to the rest of the face here and in the back you can see the brain case and how it is in equal width to the brow ridge you can also see based on both pictures how flat their face is and how nothing really sticks out and so yes the width goes in but it doesn't really come out i mean even the nose is on the flatter side. Um, this species was the first to live in colder climates, and because of this, their bodies had made adaptations from previous species, and that was to have the ability to absorb more heat, that way they could keep themselves warm in the colder climates. They also have very short and wide, wide bodies to go with their wider and flatter face. So everything feels kind of compressed. Um, the male average is 5'9 in height and 136 pounds overall. Is a pretty good average. Which is pretty short and smaller compared to people today. And the female average is only 5'2 and 112 pounds. Which is pretty small. So, the culture of it, they were the first to do a lot of things. Um, they were the first species to create shelters out of wooden rock here. Um, I have a drawing of it. I could not find a good enough picture of what it was describing, but it was a very basic makeshift home here. Um, they were also the first to routinely hunt animals, so I included a picture of an elephant here. But that was not the only animals they hunted because they lived in Europe, Asia, and southern and eastern Africa. Um, they hunted many animals. Um, some of these animals were deer, horse, hippos, rhinos, and of course elephants. Um, they also built hearse, which controlled fire. And they would gather around the hearth and share food with each other and stay warm because of how cold the climate was. And they would also ward off predators. And in the corner you see human rituals there, which I know is a, a little off-putting. But they were the first to, or not the first, but <laughs> they were known to um, have human rituals in which they would throw themselves into the fire that they made. Um, they had also used wooden spears and stone hand axes in order to hunt these animals. And they were also known to mostly die of tooth cavities or die of an 
ear infection or some type of dental disease um hygiene was obviously not a part of their life back then they didn't know it they didn't have the knowledge to know any better and so most of their deaths occurred from disease especially in the face region <laughs> so the evolution you can see I set up the pictures that way Homo heidelbergensis is in the middle of the two. Um, I did it this way because before Homo heidelbergensis was decided to be or became knowledge as a its own species, they had frequently confused the fossils of them to be of fossils of Homo sapiens or Homo erectus. And so... They now accept Heidelbergensis as its own species, but because of the designation of some of the fossils, um, it is still heavily debated as they possess features of both of these, which again is why I put them in the middle of these. And um, they found the fossils to be incredibly similar to both of these. In fact, a almost perfect mix of the two especially Homo erectus. Um, they confused their fossils for that a lot more than anything else. And these are my sources. Um, a lot of the times the sources would come up and they would be... Well, got blurry. <laughs> um, the sources would confuse Heidelbergensis for Homo erectus, as I put back here. Even the sources that I was trying to find, a lot of them talked a little more about Homo erectus or Homo sapien more than Homo heidelbergensis itself. So I have three sources here because of that. And this is my last slide for questions.